Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company, and if you just installed a video doorbell, you might be needing to change out one of these uh, transformers. I'll show you exactly how to do that, how easy it is. It only takes a couple minutes. So most of these doorbells that you install nowadays for the video require a little bit more power. The ones that you have in your house are probably a 1610, and what you need is to actually get a 1630. This right here is the 1610 that I took out, and I'll show you how to replace it in your house and uh, where you can find it, how simple it can be, and a couple easy steps. And one of the reasons that we knew that we needed to change it out is because our doorbell actually told us that we needed it. Um, the ring doorbells and some of the other ones, they never told us. They just kind of said, you might need this, and it kind of moved on. With our doorbell, we got the Eufy door system, and I'll put a link at the end of a kind of a review on that and how to install it and all the features. But we replaced it with the Eufy one, and that one actually gave me a notification the very first day and said, you need to upgrade your power system. This is the type of power system you need. Here's a link to it. We'll even sell it to you if you want. So it told you exactly what part to go get and where to get it and they would even sell it to you. So that was really cool about them also is that they let us know that the system was not gonna run properly and it didn't expect us to kind of like be electricians and be able to go check it and then move on, it told us. So these little transformers right here are usually found somewhere in your garage, most likely by the front of the house with your front power system, uh, the power that goes to your outdoor lights or something. Ours in this case was located right by the garage. They mount them a little bit high. It's kind of off the wall. It looks weird. Might have a couple wires coming out of it. Don't be scared. It's really easy to do. First thing I would always recommend is turning off that power at your house. Turn the breaker off to the circuit, and if not, just turn the power all the way off if you need to. But one of the things that we found in our house is that it actually goes to our front porch lights and our front garage lights. It wasn't marked on my panel, so I wrote it there afterwards. But turn that breaker off and then you can safely work with the electrical inside. You're going to start by unscrewing the panel. It usually comes like a, a regular socket cover. You're going to remove those two screws and pull that unit off. Again, the power should be off so you can pull those wires out and start to expose them. You're gonna have a black, a white, and a green. That is your hot, your neutral, and your ground. You're gonna disconnect those wires from inside the wall. And then you're also gonna disconnect the two or three, um, the two or four wires that you have on the outside. In our case, we have four, that's two blue and two white because we have two different doorbells from the front of the house and then one right by the door. They just have the power source going out to two different locations within one circuit. But you're gonna remove the small wires off the front of it then you're gonna remove the wires in the back and disconnect those and then pull the unit off. Once you have that whole unit off, you can start to look at the back. There's a little lock ring on the back of it that you can loosen. You can take that off and you can unscrew it and then you can pull that uh, transformer off the face of the plate. Then we can start to insert the new one. You're gonna feed the wires through the hole in the back. You're gonna put that lock washer back down over it and then you're gonna secure it back to the face. Once you get the new transformer hooked up to the uh, face plate, we can go ahead and bring it back up to the opening where the wires are and we can start to reconnect those wires. I like to always hook up the ground first, but make sure you hook up the ground to the copper wire, the green to the bare copper wire. Make sure you do the black to the black and the white to the white. Put the caps on there, make sure that they're securely tightened, and then we can tuck those back away in the box and then we can secure the plate back up to the wall. Once you have the plate and everything secured back up to the wall and all the wires are hidden, then we can re-secure those smaller wires to the outside of the transformer. I kept everything consistent here. Um, the way the writing was where it said like 1610 or 1630, it was like written vertically. I orientated my transformer the same way and I still tried to keep those wires the same way on the outside. I had blue on the right and then white on the left and I just kept those wires there and I secured them back the way that they came off. And that's it. That is how simple it is. You just remove it, reinstall the wires, and then put it back on. You turn your breaker on and everything works perfectly. Now your doorbell will work properly. It won't have problems connecting to the Wi-Fi, which some of you guys might be experiencing. Probably one of the first things that any electrician or troubleshooting would suggest is making sure you have the proper power. So this is how you solve that and it's something that you can do yourself. I put links for everything in the description below in case you guys wanna buy that transformer and have it shipped to your house overnight. Everywhere online and even in the box stores, I found them to be right around $20. The more expensive ones are a higher voltage one, so be careful. What you need is a 1630 and what you'll have in your house is a 1610. So that's just kind of like, you know, rule of thumb. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing something right and you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks again for watching. I have other videos here that I'll put at the end for the doorbells. And um, also consider subscribing to the channel. I got a lot of stuff on DIY and stuff around the house. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.